Hi everyone, welcome back to Game Maker Cast. It's Mickey, and in this lesson, we're going to be splitting up into two parts. The first part, we're going to be using a sprite to draw a chest or treasure chest sprite. It's going to be animated, and we're going to export that into Game Maker Studio, and we're going to learn how we can code a treasure chest so we can interact with the player. Now, we want to create a new file. We'll start with with 64 by 32. And then we'll say that you can do this in Game Maker. I just find this program a, has a lot more features and it's a little bit easier to use since it is a pixel editor. All right, the first thing I want to do is choose a palette to work with. I'm going to be using Edge 32, mainly just because I like the purple colors. Okay, so I'm going to start off with a dark brown and I'm going to use some of the symmetry methods here. This just makes drawing a lot more easier. So I could pull this in, and you can see it's drawing on the top and bottom. If I just do the left and right, again, it will draw just left and right. It won't do the top and bottom. So I'll just drag it in, and let's do here, and drag it down. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So we have kind of a round chest. Now we'll choose a gold color, and let's fill this in. We'll go all the way down to the bottom and over. And we'll pick our brown again and come up. Whoops. Let's take this yellow again and fix that up. Okay, so there's the outline of the chest. We want something to go straight in the middle here. So let's use the brown. We're going to go all the way across. I'm having some mouse issues here, so just give me a second to clean this up. Okay, so we have that, and now I want a brown in here. Now what I can do is I could just use this brown here, and oops, let's fill it in. And now I'm going to need a lock. So for that, I'm going to make a new layer, and I'm going to call layer 1 the base, and layer 2 will be our lock itself. Alright, so on the lock, I'm going to use a, let's use a dark gray here. And let's see, where is the middle? There is the middle. Oops, I'm on fill, so we want a lock to come out. Something like that. Uh, let's just extend it up one all the way, nice and big. And we can also switch colors there. Okay, so with this lock, what we want is a keyhole. So we can just make a simple keyhole like that. All right, so there we go. That looks pretty good. I don't think there's anything else we need to do. Oh, we should do some shading. Now, there's a couple different ways that we can do shading. We can take the color, we can bring up our palette, and we can use the hue, saturation, and lighting. We can bring down our lighting. Um, we can bring it down to 57, and that will give us a darker gray, so we could do something like that. Uh, one of the other things that you can do is you can use a black color and then just use the opacity and I'm going to bring it down to 32. You can see it kind of does the exact same thing. So that means with the base I can choose, I can keep it on actually this black and 32 and with my line tool I can just go all the way, sorry, I could go all the way across and I can do the same up top. Let's bring that over. So that will give it just a little bit of depth. And you can see here, this is our preview. This is a one-to-one -one scale. So even though we can't see the lighting here, um, you can see it here at the top. Okay, so now we want to animate this chest. Actually, on my lock, I'm going to also put in a little bit of shading as well. I'm not going to do it right there. Actually, I can. You know what? That's fine. Okay, so let's move on to our animation. Uh, we have one frame, so let's make a new frame. And all we're going to do is we are going to grab our lock and we're going to move it up one, two. Let's move it up three pixels. We'll make a new frame. And once again, three pixels. And whoops, new frame. And we'll finish off frame five, one, two, three. And then, so that means with the base. On frame number two, we're going to have to start moving this half up. So I'm just going to drag up to there. One, two, three. And we'll come back and fix these up. So once again, we'll take this. Oops. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
and that means that we have to remove this here. And on frame four, we have one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine. So let's take this and delete it. And you can see these corners are now different, but we will fix them up. And let's do the same with this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12. Okay, once again, we'll get rid of that stuff there. Okay, so let's work on the background first. So I'm gonna assume that the box is still opening like so. So we can go and add these lines all in. Let's get rid of this property so we don't need that. Come in here. And the final frame. Okay, so now that it's open, what we want to have happen is we're not going to use the brown here. Let's bring up our color and we'll turn down our lightness by 5. So we'll go to 15 and let's draw the inside box. Inside there and there. And this is just its a little tedious, but uh, hopefully the effect will be nice. All right, now let's work on the gold part. We'll keep the line going all the way across and let's take the lightness and let's go down by five again. And we'll draw it in. And we'll go to the next frame and draw it in. The next one, I should just use fill here. Okay, now the other thing I wanna do is fill in this area here. So I'm gonna choose my dark brown and come back. And I'm gonna put it down five more and just fill it in. Looks pretty good. Okay, so now we have those properties back up. So now we have everything filled in. Now let's work on fixing up here. So I'm gonna take the shadow that I have and go over to frame four because it gets destroyed there. And actually this gets destroyed too. So I will draw that out and then I will put our shadow back in. And all I actually did was I took the shadow color and then I took the brown color and those are my two colors that I'm using to draw with my left and right click. And now it's just gonna be basically doing things by eye. Now we can hit play down here to see our animation or we can just hit play in the window and you can see it kind of go up. One of the things I'm going to do is right click on my last frame here and go to frame properties. I just put my duration to one second just so I can see what it looks like once it's open. And I think, you know what, I think that's pretty good. It's not a bad, not a bad chest. The only thing I don't really like is this brown right here. So, let's see if we do this. Yeah, you know what? I'm actually going to. Now, this is just me getting nitpicky. So, I'm just going to change all of the yellows to the regular yellow here. And I will take off that pixel. Oh, we have one left. Okay. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay, so I am going to leave this. Uh, this is going to be the sprite that we're using. So I'm going to say export as a sprite sheet. And what that is going to do, I'll show you one second. So we're going to export as a horizontal sprite. And the output file uh, we will name as treasure chest strip.png. We'll say okay and make sure that we have a padding we'll use inner of two so if i hit export this is what we're going to get so we have two padding along the left and top and bottom and right and it just basically generates our sprite sheet for us which we can use to import into game maker studio 
Okay, so that covers the first part of this video. Let's switch over to Game Maker Studio and start writing some code for this.